these are some of the most dangerous men in Afghanistan. <laughs> Taliban fighters brought to the US military's shiny new prison at Parwan. The new jail is designed to wipe away memories of past prisoner abuse. NATO wants to win over the Afghan people. That starts with the Taliban themselves. The Americans hope to rehabilitate them. So insurgents who once planted bombs are now being taught how to plant sunflowers. According to one estimate, 80% of the Taliban fight within walking distance of their own homes, many because they don't have jobs. So the aim of all this is to give these men skills and an alternative to taking up arms once again. Will bread baking classes get the insurgents to switch sides? We couldn't interview the detainees, but some Taliban are deeply ideological. We went to meet a middle-ranking Taliban commander in Kabul. The capital is under government control, but the insurgents can still come and go. Malawi Abdul Rahman says he has 900 fighters in Wardak province. The Taliban's line is quite simple. No peace negotiations until the Americans leave. My advice to the Americans is, if they love their lives, if their families are suffering from their presence here or their deaths in Afghanistan, they should go. As long as one American remains in Afghanistan, we won't stop our jihad. When you plant roadside bombs to kill the Americans, often you kill many, many civilians. How is this a legitimate way to fight? We're doing our best to avoid civilian casualties. When we plant mines for American convoys, most of the time we don't do it in civilian areas. We've even stopped using so many suicide bombers to try to reduce civilian casualties. A ragtag army, perhaps, but in places the Taliban are in charge. Along with their makeshift checkpoints, the insurgents create their own administration. Even within government ministries, there are Taliban loyalists. And the insurgents are getting new recruits, like this man. A civil servant by day, a Taliban volunteer by night. I joined the Taliban because of what the Americans are doing to this country. They break down doors in the middle of the night, they kill innocent people, the infidels have occupied our country. One of the things that's been proved remarkably resilient about the resurgency is their ability to recruit people. And then right in the, in the earlier stages of the campaign, people always said that, you know, fighting your way out of this insurgency is not the answer because, you know, there's a propensity for them to be able to recruit um, more or less what they need. There has always had to be some sort of, you know, political dialogue that takes you to an end of this conflict, not a military solution. A military flight south for ex-prisoners, the successes for the program to rehabilitate fighters. After years in prison, they're going back to their families. It's too soon to know if they'll also return to the Taliban. Paul Wood, BBC News, Kabul.